In this video tutorial, we're going to explain you a bit more about the Metcal solder wire feeding system. On the image in front, you can see the initial setup that we are using today, with on the left, the work stand with handpiece, in the middle, the CV5200 power supply, and on the right side, you can see the solder wire feeding unit itself, with the push button uh, that we need to trigger the feeder. To install a new roll of solder wire, we first need to remove the upper casing of our feeding system. We can do that easily by removing the two screws on the back and then we can take off the upper casing. The next step is to take our new roll of solder wire, install it on the back side of the device counterclockwise. Also don't forget afterwards to take a wing clamp to secure it. The next thing to do is to take our uh, solder wire feeding tube, uh, the corresponding one of course, and then install it on the front side um, using the upper black screw. Then we're going to release the tension rolls with this handle here and we can take our cord wire and we can guide it through the feeding device. It might be necessary to modify the tension. Um, we can do that easily with the screw on the right side. Uh, with one twist, we can increase or decrease the tension with 8%. Depending on the diameter size, you uh, will need to have a tension between 15 and 100%. Also, don't forget to uh, put back on the upper casing afterwards for security purposes. As explained earlier, it's important to use the corresponding feeding tube and guiding tube as well as the uh, size of Teflon nozzle. Um, this depends of course on the diameter of solder wire that uh, you are using. Um, so the final step to install the solder wire is uh, to make sure that we have the right uh, uh, feeding tube and also the right guiding tube. Um, We take our handpiece, always make sure that our device is switched off um, for security reasons. Install the guide tube on the handpiece. Take the feeding tube and carefully mount them together. Okay, uh, now the solder wire comes out. Uh, in some cases, it can be needed that you uh, need to trigger the, the solder wire feeder a bit to make sure that the solder wire here comes out. This is actually the last step we need to do before we can take our Teflon nozzle and install it on the front. So then depending on the cartridge uh, type we are using, we can uh, modify the distance and set it correctly. Uh, the Metcal solder wire feeder unit is actually quite straightforward in use. To switch on the device, you press the button in front. And you can easily scroll through the different programs that you have configured and use them as they are. Um, to access the programming mode, you press and hold the button rapidly. You enter the password. To move to the next digit, uh, press the button rapidly to move on. And then you will notice that you are in the programming uh, module. Um, the first item you can see on the left is the, the program itself. So you can select the program that you uh, want to add or modify, uh, depending. Uh, you have the mode of operation where you can select the automated function forward and backward. 
we have the forward feed uh, giving us the distance of the solder wire that uh, comes out. This has to be uh, uh, within a range of zero to 200 millimeters. We also have the backward uh, function, uh, which also has to be between zero and 200 millimeters. We have a delay function um, that uh, can be programmed between let's say zero and 10 seconds. Um, a count function showing us the number of feeds that has been performed within this specific program. Uh, then an important function, of course, is the speed, uh, which has to be between 0 0.5 and 100. And then the last item we have in the program uh, is the unit of uh, measure. And there we can select uh, millimeters or inches, depending on uh, your needs. To uh, save uh, all the data, you press and hold the button for a few seconds and then you will see a screen updating and you'll come back uh, in the main menu.